Dear students, proposition. Statement of the proposition. If Z2, Z3, Z4 are distinct points in C infinity and W2, W3, W4 are also distinct points of C infinity, then there is one and only one Mobius transformation S such that S of Z2 equal to W2, S of Z3 equal to W3, and s of z4 equal to w4 that is here we have three distinct points a pair of uh, distinct points each include three points three distinct points that is z2 z3 z4 and w2 w3 w4 we have to prove that there exists one and only one mobius transformation that connecting these pairs so we have to find or we have to prove that there exists a Mobius map that connecting Z2, Z3, Z4 and W2, W3, W4. Also, we have to prove that that Mobius map is unique. That is, we have to prove the existence and the uniqueness of such a map. So, first we prove the existence of such a Mobius map. We prove this theorem using the definition of cross ratio. For defining the cross ratio, we need four distinct points. So we take an arbitrary point Z and another arbitrary point W. So we have Z, 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 Z2, Z3, Z4 and W, W2, W3 and W4. Four points are distinct consider the cross ratio of z z2 z3 z4 we take it as some t of z where t is a mobius map such that t maps the second point t of z2 equal to 1 t of z3 equal to 0 and t of z4 equal to infinity similarly cross ratio of w w2 w3 w4 equal to some m of z where m is a mobius map such that m maps the second point w2 into 1 third point w3 into 0 and fourth point w4 into infinity this is possible by the definition of a cross ratio there exist mobius maps which are maps second point into one third point into zero and fourth point into infinity now we have m is a mobius map so m inverse is also a mobius map t is also a mobius map we consider the composition of these two m inverse composition t this is also a mobius map because we know that the collection of all bilinear transformation form a group under function composition so we say it as m inverse composition t or another way we can say that m inverse t let it be s so s is a mobius map now we find s of z2 what is s of z2 s of z2 means m inverse t of z2 that is equal to m inverse of t of z2 what is it? t of z2 t of z2 means 1 that is m inverse of 1 what is m inverse of 1 m of w2 equal to 1 so m inverse of 1 equal to w2 w2 next we find s of z3 s of z3 equal to m inverse t of z3 that's equal to m inverse of t of z3 t of z3 means we have t of z3 equal to 0 m inverse of 0 m inverse of 0 means m of w3 equal to 0 therefore m inverse of 0 equal to w3 w3 similarly s of z4 s of z4 equal to m inverse t of z4 that's equal to m inverse of t of z4 t of z4 means 
that's equal to infinity m inverse of infinity m inverse of infinity means m of w4 equal to infinity therefore m inverse of infinity equal to w4 so we get there exist a mobius map f s such that s maps the second point into w2 s of z2 equal to w2 s of z3 into w3 s of z4 into w4 so that is the result in our in our statement that is there exist a mobius map s such that s transform z3 into w3 z4 z4 into w4 and also z2 into w2 so such a mobius map is exist so the existence is over now we have to prove that e, this s is unique so to prove uniqueness we consider there exist another map r satisfying all these properties that is r of z2 equal to w2 r of z3 equal to w3 and r of z4 equal to w4 we have to prove that this s r equal to s so for this we consider r inverse since r is mobius r inverse also mobius map and we take a composition with s r inverse composition s so r inverse composition s is also a mobius map because r, r inverse is a mobius map s is also a mobius map therefore by taking composition we take another mobius map so this is a mobius map and now we find r inverse composition s of this is also we can write it as r inverse of s r inverse of s of z2 what is r inverse s of z2 that is r inverse of s of z2 s of z2 means it is 1 z2 is mapped into 1 so r inverse of 1 means r inverse of 1 means what is r inverse of 1 here r inverse of 1 not r inverse of 1 here r inverse of z2 r inverse of s of z2 s of z2 means s of z2 equal to w2 so not r inverse of 1 r inverse of w2 sorry for the mistake we find r inverse s of z2 that is r inverse of s of z2 s of z2 means w2 so r inverse of w2 what is r inverse of w2 r of z2 equal to w2 therefore r inverse of w2 equal to z2 z2 next we find r inverse s of z3 z2 any z3 r inverse of s of z3 s of z3 what is s of z3 s of z3 equal to here we have s of z3 equal to w3 w3 and r inverse of w3 r of z3 equal to w3 therefore r inverse of w3 equal to z3 z3 similarly r inverse s of z4 we get r inverse s of z4 that's equal to r inverse of s of z4 means w4 r inverse of w4 means z4 that is we get r inverse s maps z2 into z2 z3 into z3 z4 into z4 that is r inverse s of z2 equal to z2 itself r inverse s of z3 equal to z3 itself r inverse s of z4 equal to z4 itself a function 
f of z equal to z itself means z is a fixed point it is the definition of fixed points so r inverse r inverse s has three fixed points z2 z3 and z4 we know that r inverse s is a mobius map is a mobius map it has now it has three fixed points we have the result that is any mobius map other than the identity has at most two fixed points maximum two fixed points in daulu ed mobius map in identity map olgeyulla ed mobius map in maximum two fixed points in daulu pashe ivide r inverse s nu moon fixed points undu that means r inverse s should be the identity map so taking composition with r on the left side on both side of this equation r composition r inverse of s equal to r composition i that implies we get s equal to r so we take there exist another transformation r satisfying the same properties of s now we get that they are the same s equal to r that is uniqueness so we prove there exist a map s which maps z2 into w2 z3 into w3 and z4 into w4 and also now we prove that that map is unique so there exist one and only one mobius transformation s such that s of z2 equal to w2 s of z3 equal to w3 and s of z4 equal to w4 now we have a problem related to this proposition that is we have to find a mobius map which transform the points 0 which transform the points 0 i minus i into 1 minus 1 0 0 i minus i in the moon points in a 1 minus 1 0 ilekki map eunna oru mobius transformation kaanunam so we use the theorem first we use the result that is cross ratio is invariant under bilinear transformation second one we use the previous theorem that is there exists such a map moonu point in a oru Another moon point like map in the one and only one mobius map exists. This result would apply the tunnel within the answer number chiambona. So for defining the cross ratio, we have four points. So we take a point z here and a point w here. So cross ratio of z 0 i minus i equal to cross ratio of w 1 minus 1 0 because we have the result cross ratio is invariant under bilinear transformation. Now the points in the, that in the image in the cross ratio same I recall. If the points in the order of the order of the order 0 i minus i and all the order of the order of the order 1 minus 1 0 yum the order of the order of the order 0 i minus i ne in what are you going to mapping about the teacher is on body la and the other 0 i minus i and all the z in the good day. 1 minus 1 0 and another w in the good in the name and then and then give them a good teacher idea and I'm okay inverse transformation on a good term I'm okay share cute and I'm obvious map in the inverse on a teacher idea good up so I order keep in now we apply the formula for finding cross ratio z1 minus what a z1 z2 z3 z4 for z1 minus z3 means z minus i into 0 minus minus i divided by z1 minus z4 0 minus minus i into 0 sorry z minus minus i into 0 minus i similarly w minus minus 1 into 1 minus 0 divided by w minus 0 into 1 minus minus 1 so in the next step we get z minus i into this is plus i and this is minus i so i divided by z plus i into 
minus i here is z plus i into minus i here w plus 1 into 1 what a w into 2 equal to w plus 1 into 1 divided by w into 2 2w by cross multiplying we get 2w into i and i are cancelled 2w into z minus i equal to here is a minus minus z plus i into w plus 1 expanding the bracket 2wz minus 2wi equal to minus of z w plus z plus i w plus i ok now we take the term including w on one side that is we get 2wz minus 2wi on the left side 2wz minus 2wi on the right side minus zw and uh, iw so minus zw it becomes plus zw and uh, minus iw become plus iw equal to on right side there is there is minus z minus i minus z minus i so 2wz plus zw means 3wz and minus 2wi plus iw means minus wi on right side it is minus z minus i so w taken outside 3z minus i equal to minus z minus i so w equal to w equal to minus z minus i divided by 3z minus i that's equal to minus of z plus i divided by 3z minus i that's equal to z plus i divided by minus 3z plus i this is the transformation we have to check that it is bilinear or not here a equal to 1 ad a z plus b divided by c z plus t and the standard form it a z plus b standard form it compare it a equal to 1 b equal to i c equal to minus 3 d equal to i so ad minus b c equal to ad minus b is equal to 1 into i minus minus 3 into i that is equal to 4 i not equal to 0 4 i not equal to 0 therefore this is a bilinear transformation so w equal to z plus i divided by minus 3 z plus i this is the mobius map this is the unique mobius map one and only one mobius map which maps 0 i minus i into 1 minus 1 0 so that's the problem thank you